I am Onita Maestas, and I grew up in a very tiny village in southeastern Colorado. I grew up with a bilingual in a bilingual home where I only heard Spanish from my grandmother, but I would speak English back to her because we were uh, expected to speak English in school and actually chastised for not speaking English. So I, I grew up with um, a lot of language, a lot of culture. I lived on a goat farm. We made everything homemade. We lived 65 miles from the closest town or city. And so you had to use what was available to you if you didn't have the ingredients that you needed, for example, for cooking. So my grandmother and my mother are amazing examples of figuring out how to make a recipe when you don't have the ingredients readily available to you. So it taught it taught me survival skills and working on the ranch taught us hard work ethics. Grandmother used, both of my grandmothers used herbs from the garden or herbs that were just grown in on the countryside to make our teas, to make our what we call remedios or our remedies if we were mm -hmm. sick because the doctor was far away. And I just remember um, utilizing the land and appreciating the land. We never abused the land. Grandmother would always teach us to pluck the tea, not from the root, but just at the end of the stem so that it would grow back again. And so basically my whole entire childhood was place-based learning. It was utilizing the things that were readily available to us to make that learning happen. And I just grew up with that. So becoming a teacher, I, I used place-based learning my whole entire career. I've been a teacher for 26 years, and I've always incorporated it at the elementary school level. And it's very important for students to have that experiential knowledge. And now that I work at the university level and I, I run the Cultural Awareness Student Achievement Center, I try to keep that intact with my students. And so what we do here is we really are keepers of culture. And so I take the students who have lost their language. They've lost their heritage. They have an identity crisis or loss of identity. And so through place-based learning, we bring back the very things that they grew up with that help them understand who they are and they bring these experiences bring the students back to their roots and where they come from because sometimes they're made to feel less than because they did grow up in certain situations place-based learning but they don't see it as important and they've been made to feel as though it's not important for example we have hornos in our backyard. A lot of my students grew up cooking in hornos and still continue to this day to cook in hornos with their grandparents. It's their food sustenance and it's the best food because it's cooked in an open fire. And they're made to feel that that's not a way of cooking. But here at Casa we bring that back. And what's so special is my students are learning where they come from and they're learning that it's important but I also bring the parents and the grandparents to our cultural center on campus where they would never have stepped on campus before because they don't feel welcome. They now feel welcome because we're bringing that place-based learning that they've had their entire life to an academic setting and showing the student how important it is to keep these roots and traditions and language alive. And so we do that through the networking with the parents and the grandparents, showing how, how important their knowledge is. And it makes the student feel extremely needed, wanted, welcomed, because we just honored who they are. We honor where they come from. We honor their families. And we honor their culture, their traditions, and their language.